When I think of science, I think of a truly human activity. Something fundamental to our DNA. Something that drives curiosity. When you're a kid, you're born a scientist. What does a scientist do? We look up and say, I wonder what that is. Let me go find out. Let me poke it. Let me turn it around. This is what kids do. Kids that can barely walk, what are they doing? They're turning over rocks. They're plucking petals off a rose. They're exploring their environment through experimentation. That's what we do as human beings. So what do we do? We prevent that. We prevent these depths of curiosity from revealing themselves, even within our own residences. You know, we spend a year teaching our kids to walk and talk, and the rest of their lives tell them to shut up and sit down. What kind of environment is that? The goal here is not to make everybody a scientist. That's not the goal. What a boring world that would be. You want artists, you want musicians, you want novelists, poets. You want the rest of this. What matters is whether they're scientifically literate and maintain that literacy and that curiosity throughout their lives, no matter what becomes their profession. People think science literacy is being able to recite facts, and it's not that. It's a part of it, but it's not the main part. The main part is, how do you look at the world? What does the world look like through your lens? If you're scientifically literate, the world looks very different to you. It's not just a lot of mysterious things happening. There's a lot we understand out there. And that understanding empowers you to first not be taken advantage of by others who do understand it. And second, there are issues that confront society that have science as their foundation. You can't look at science and math as some separate subject. It's fundamental to what it is to be alive because it's all around us. And it influences your health, your safety, how you're going to have to vote, what issues are before you politically. If you're not scientifically literate, it's in a way you are disenfranchising yourself from the democratic process. And you don't even know it.